Hi folks, it's there from Two Brothers Hobby, and we've been getting a lot of questions from people both online and out in the field about how to bind high-tech transmitters to their new minima receivers, and um, that can be an issue. The last thing you want to do is get out to the field of the lake, have your transmitter on, and your model non-responsive. So let's go back to the workshop, and I'll show you how to set up those receivers with these transmitters. HiTech introduced integrated telemetry to our hobby with the Aurora 9 and Optima receivers, but to save a little weight and cost for smaller models, these Minima receivers don't have that telemetry feature. Because of this, we need a slightly different procedure when linking the Minima receivers. Before you get started, you need to confirm that your transmitter module software is up to date, and you do that using the HPP22 PC programmer. This is a little USB device that lets you connect to your Windows PC to upgrade the firmware, back up your model settings, and monitor your telemetry system while flying. You will need the firmware version 3.01 or later to use the minimum receivers. The HPP22 software is just a free download on the HiTech website, and once you have the software installed and running, you connect the HPP22 to your PC and then your transmitter. There are two cables. One has a servo connector on each end like this, the other one has a small stereo jack on the end. This is for updating your transmitter software. This one's for updating the module software. Looking at the back of the Aurora 9 transmitter here, we see the removable spectra module and the little data port that it has that just takes that servo connector from the HPP22. This is the voice module that I use, and its cable also plugs into that same port. Similarly, here is the bind or link button that you'll use during the binding procedure. On the Optic 6 Sport, the module is actually integrated into the transmitter. It uses the same software, it's just not removable. And you can see it has a similar data port here. That, again, is also covered when you'll get the transmitter, so you'll have to peel back a little bit of self-adhesive material. The link button on the Optic 6 Sport is also a little bit different than the Spectra. It actually sticks out and you can press it with your finger so you don't need a tool. On the other hand, it also makes it so you can press that button accidentally while starting up. So that's just something you want to be aware of. The basic binding technique or linking technique is to hold down that button while you turn on the transmitter. And you can see the Spectre and Aurora combination takes a few seconds here to boot up. Once you've got that flashing red light, you're ready to bind. However, the red light means you're ready to bind to an Optima series receivers, not the Minima. To bind to the Minima, you need a flashing blue LED, and to get that, from this condition, you just go and hold that button down for another second or two, and it'll switch over to a blue LED. You're now ready to bind the minimum receivers. Regardless of what brand radio I'm using, I always like to set up my receivers on the bench using an external battery pack, a switch, and a servo. It's just easier than trying to work down inside the fuselage of a model. So let's get started here. We'll hold down the link button on the Optima 6. Turn it on. We've got flashing red. Hold it for another second or two. We've got flashing blue. That's now ready to go. We'll hold down the button on the receiver, flip the switch. As soon as I release that switch, you saw it flash the lights a few times, and now we've got a solid blue. That means we're bound, and I just turn off the receiver, turn off the transmitter, turn the receiver or transmitter and receiver back on. You can see we've got a solid red light on the module, you saw the, res the servo twitch, and we now see that we're bound as I operate that transmitter. So there we are, we're good to go. To go now and switch to the Aurora 9, we just do the same procedure all over again. You can see that we've got no response there at all. So we know that we're not bound to the Aurora 9, we are to the Optic 6 Sport. I'm going to turn off the Optic 6 Sport, turn off the receiver and the Aurora 9, Set the Aurora 9 for its bind protocol using the screwdriver. It comes up. We've got the flashing blue light. We hold down the receiver button. Turn it on. We're now bound, or now we're bound. We'll turn that off. Turn the transmitter off. Bring the transmitter back online. And the receiver. And you can see we're now bound there and no longer bound to the Optic 6 Sport. As you can see, it's not difficult to bind to the minimum receivers. You just need to remember that slightly different protocol. You need a flashing blue light for the minimum receivers, 
flashing red light for the Optima receivers. Once you remember that, you're good to go. 